Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Um, I have a project coming up and I need some larger canvases. So um, I have a 24 by 36 inch canvas that I'm working on tonight. And I was looking back through my channel. Um, I just passed 3000 subscribers and I wanted to kind of look at my history, what I'm doing. And I realized I haven't done a, um, a magic wand pour in a while. So I'm gonna try that. And this time, I'm, instead of layering cups, I'm going to layer a split cup and do a traveling ring pour back and forth across the, um, the magic wand and then we'll stretch it out. Um, before I show you my, um, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and show you the consistency of my paints because this is the part I always forget. So let's do that first. So my paints are fairly thick. Um, I have watered them down a bit. I, I want it to leave a mound, but I want it to disappear fairly quickly. Um, and uh, everything that I'm uh, showing to, or everything, all of my paints tonight were mixed with either mixed pour or my custom pouring medium of uh, Floetrol PVA glue and gloss varnish. Some of these are leftover colors, so I'm kind of mixing things up here. So. Um, my white is a cloud mix. So this is Amsterdam titanium. No, it's not. It's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, um, Deco Art Satin Enamel in White, Vallejo Pearl Medium, and Flow Troll. I'll put the exact um, ratios in the um, description box below. Then I have Amsterdam's uh, Prussian Blue, a really dark, rich color and I have DecoArt Satin Enamel uh, Copper, and I have a little bit of TL, I had some leftover TLP Cinnamon that I've mixed into that. Uh, this is DecoArt, nope. This is Artist Loft um, uh, Metallic Cobalt, and this is also the color that I'll be using for my uh, base coat. This is Amsterdam's um, Sky Blue Light, this is a mix of DecoArt uh, metallics in deep sapphire and garlic, uh, garnet. I almost said garlic, oh my god. <laughs> garnet. So uh, the red and the blue together have made this amazing, rich uh, purple violet color. It's gorgeous. I'm super happy about that. And this is 24 karat gold. So I'm going to layer my four chamber split cup from Mixed Media Girl, exactly as you see it here. Put white here, and I'm gonna uh, layer the blue and the copper together in this chamber, the sky blue light and the cobalt in this chamber, and then the purple and the gold in this chamber. So um, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll try and get these chambers filled all the way up. I need probably this is a little bit of a thinner consistency. If it were really thick paints, I would need 30 ounces of paint uh, in the cup, and the cup only holds um, 20 total. So I may have to fill this up again, so we shall see. But I'm gonna start with a little bit of copper here in the bottom, the copper cinnamon mix from TLP. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth between the Prussian blue and the copper. And maybe a little bit more copper to start with. This might give me some interesting cells using that copper. Sky blue light, metallic cobalt, Then we're going to 
start with a little bit of gold. Whatever comes it goes in first comes out last, so I want that gold on top. Okay, our cup is very full. Move that out of the way. Put down our base coat.
out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground My ways are mine and I don't want to change Not even for love Now take back all them hard words I'm a grown woman With confidence and sense In the middle me So here is an overhead view of the wet results. I love it. There's some definite um, dark contrast uh, with that white in the sky blue. Oh my gosh, and the turquoise looks so gorgeous. Okay, let me zoom in here and I'll show you some details. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm so happy about that dark purple metallic. I can't wait to see what kind of shine I get from it. But these lines are gorgeous. The, um, the cloud mix has done something very interesting in a couple of places, like right there. That almost looks like an aerial view of a, uh, like a glacier or something. Global warming. <laughs> but it does look like it's separated a bit. I wonder what's causing that. I don't hate it though. I think it's gonna cool. Um, I'll be interested to see how this dries. But blues and purples, gold and copper and white, always a great combination, I think. Look at that section right there, so cool. Oh, and that copper. Wow, look at that copper. That looks great. This corner is beautiful too. There's gonna be some amazing sparkle in that. I don't know if I can get it on in this view, but all that gold and copper and then the metallic cobalt. 
Yeah, this is, there's going to be a lot of really good sparkle on this one. And I love the kind of spine. See that wavy little line that kind of goes all the way up through the composition there? That's where the, the magic wand was. Very cool. Some interesting little cells popped up there. Yeah, I love the way it looks like a little river starting up here. I'm pretty pleased with this. I think I really like it. I hope you like it too. Um, I will not have dry results on this one, but I will post the dry results on my Instagram page, which you will see in the description box below and also in the uh, end screen. And um, yeah, if you want a full written tutorial, check out the description box. I write the entire process out. I, uh, I've heard from many people that they really enjoy uh, uh, keeping that information, be able to read it rather than watch the video again a second time. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you find that useful. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And come back and see me sometime.